Hi there, welcome back to the BSG Primer series. This quick video shows you how to navigate our study group websites. Study groups are the building blocks of the standards making process of the ITUT. Each one of our 11 study groups has their own website. So let's take a look then by way of example at SG15, which covers networks, technologies and infrastructures. Now you can see here that their next meeting or their most recent meeting is always indicated under the meeting in focus. In this case, it's from the 19th to the 30th of June, 2017 in Geneva. All this information you will find in the middle of the page. Now, in order to find the documents for the meeting, you need to look to the column to the right. Meeting documents include TDs, contributions, and liaison statements. TDs is where you find agendas for meetings, but also base texts for standards or reports of previous meetings. These TDs can be published anytime before or during a meeting. Contributions are the proposals for membership and must be sent in at least the latest 12 days before a meeting. The liaison statements are liaisons or letters or correspondence, if you like, between different groups or organizations. Another very important document is the time plan. The time plan tells you when the various meetings will take place, question meetings, working party meetings, plenaries, and so on. This is a very important document as it shows you when draft standards and proposals for standards are going to be under discussion. The time plan needs to be looked at together with the agendas of the meetings that are found in TDs as mentioned earlier. And this time plan will be regularly updated just before the meeting and also during the meeting with any last minute changes in meetings. Also under the section meeting in focus you can find the collective which is the announcement for the meeting the general agenda of the meeting, and the link for registration. Now let's take a look at the left-hand column where you can find important information about what a study group covers. The mandate of the study group, including its lead roles, if any, can be found in the section labeled Mandate and Lead Roles. More specifically, the questions under the responsibility of a study group can be found in the left-hand column as well, together with the rapporteurs that are leading those questions. You can use this section to identify those questions of interest to you and to find the contact details of the rapporteur leading that work if you wish to reach out. Now under structure, again on the left-hand column, you will find the number and title of the working parties and which questions each working party or WP covers. Under each question, you have a number of work items and the work items of the study group are found in what we call the work program. By clicking on the link work program under work items, you can find all of the work items that the study group is currently working on and their associated question. You can also find drafts of current work and the contact details of the editors that are leading that work. Finally, on the left-hand bar, you can click on Management Team to find the names, organizations, and contact details of the Chairman and the Vice Chairman of the group, collectively known as the Management Team of the Study Group. And there you have it. Happy surfing, and see you next time. This short video has been brought to you by the ITUT Bridging the Standardization Gap program.